This is Beauty or Bust, where we test out the beauty world's weirdest products and decide if they're worth your money or a total bust. Today we're going to be testing out the Blessed Moon Cosmetics Blue Moon Kit. This is a K-Beauty product that I saw on Instagram and I thought it was really cool because it's essentially an all-in-one makeup kit. So you have your foundation, your blush, two eyeshadows, a lipstick, an eyeliner, and a dual-ended brush, all for 45 bucks. I'm going to be evaluating this kit based on how well the products perform, how travel-friendly it really is, and how long the makeup actually lasts. So now that I have a little feel for the product, let's get started with the application. I ordered this from the YesStyle website, and when I was looking, I didn't see very many options for foundation. I think there was only two, both of which were way too light for me, so excited to see how that goes. Yeah, that foundation is gonna be way too light for me, so I think I'm just gonna try to pat it under my eyes and blend it out as like a little concealer touch-up. Even though that color is definitely not it for my skin tone, I feel like the coverage is actually pretty good. My dark circles look mostly concealed. I actually feel like my under eyes look really good. I'm really surprised. So blush is next. What I'm gonna do is take my finger again, rub, rub, rub. These pans are so tiny, I feel like a giant. Like my fingers just feel huge and clunky and annoying. This color is actually really cute, even though I feel like for me it might be a little too light, but the actual like peachy tone of it is so adorable. Next up is gonna be our eyeshadows. And what's interesting to me is that these eyeshadows are also this very creamy, thin formula. They're not powder, so that's Kind of cool, kind of a little bit worrying me because I don't know how long these are gonna last on my eye. We can finally break out our brush. Oh my God, let me take out the little baby brush from my secret compartment. Oh, wrong side. Okay, so here's our little baby brush. And what I'm gonna do is dip first into this pinky color right here and then use this orangey shimmer all over my lid. The one critique I would say I have is that the process is a bit messy. The shadow formula and all the other formulas are very just like thin and slippery, so they kind of just go all over the place and then you have to like do damage control, fix it back up again. But the final result is really, really nice. So now that the eyes are done, I am going to apply the eyeliner and this is a waterproof gel eyeliner in a brown shade. The eyeliner is not the best. It's having a hard time sticking to my waterline. I do have problems with lots of eyeliners because I do have a really watery waterline. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's definitely not showing up very much. This girl that I saw on Instagram using this kit actually used the eyeliner to make faux freckles. And I kind of want to try that. Maybe let's do a few. It adds to your cuteness like a thousand percent. So the final step is gonna be lipstick, which is this bright red shade up here. I'm really excited to try this one. Ooh, this feels really good. It's way thicker than the other formulas. Whoa, and it's really pigmented. Wow. So far, all of these products have been performing pretty well. I, also, I just have to keep reminding myself that this type of makeup isn't about being full coverage, it's just about giving that touch, that little hint of color. Now it's time for my wear test. I'm gonna wear this makeup for eight hours, check in with you guys at home, come back here, and give you my final thoughts on the Blessed Moon Cosmetics Ble Moon Kit. So this is my tote bag that I wear every single day. My plan is to just toss the kit in here and check in on it at home when I'm doing my check-in, see if any pans popped out or if anything broke on the way home. Let's see how travel-friendly this thing actually is. Okay, so let's do a full assessment of my face right now. The worst by far was definitely that 
foundation thing that I used as concealer. I set it with powder to give it a fighting chance, but it pretty much just uh, faded away to nothing. It got in all my fine lines and just like doesn't look good. And that eyeliner is just like completely gone. But we have a ton of positives. For one, eyeshadow, boom, still kicking, still pretty, still shiny. The lips, I think, are by far my favorite part of this. I cannot believe that this lasted through not only all day drinking and eating, but for dinner I had like 20 chicken wings, saucy chicken wings, and we're left with this, and I'm pretty blown away by that. Like this was such a thin formula, I wasn't even expecting it to last past like two sips of water. The cheeks are still very slightly pink, which I was definitely not expecting considering how much it took to even get to this point and it was a cream blush. So overall, I would say that I'm very impressed because I was really starting to doubt that this stuff was gonna last all day long on me and it did, it proved me wrong besides the foundation and the eyeliner, but everything else, it's still on my face. I have to say that I'm really impressed with the Blessed Moon Cosmetics Blue Moon Kit. I wasn't expecting the makeup to last as long as it did. When I was first applying the product, some were definitely a bit more difficult to work with than others. I ended up using more of my fingers, less of the brushes that the kit comes with. But in the end, I really liked my overall look, so I would say that the products actually performed pretty well. It's travel friendliness. I've had it in my bag for over a day now, and let me see how it's doing, if I can find it. Yeah, it still looks totally fine. It's still in perfect condition. Nothing opened. Brush is still in there. Eyeliner's still in there. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, totally fine. I would definitely say that the Blessed Moon Cosmetics Blue Moon Kit is totally worth it. It is a really good little kit for when you're traveling, on the go, doing makeup in the Uber, on the subway. I really do think a lot of people would benefit from having a tiny little kit like this in their bag. Totally fine. Isn't this look like it's made for babies? It's so small. It looks like makeup for babies. <laughs> it's so cute.